In this video, it is important to know the basics of hot tub chemistry when you want to control your hot tub water balancing. These hot tub water chemistry basics include pH, sanitation levels, and alkalinity. First, we need to fill the tub. If you need help, you can check out our video above where we walk through the initial fill-up process. You can also find this information in your hot tub owner's manual. Once we fill the hot tub, now it's time to check the chemical level. Now it's important to note the quantities to apply can vary based on the size of your hot tub and the chemical concentration of the brand or product being used. You should know how many gallons of water your hot tub holds. In the first step, make sure you read the recommended amount of chemicals needed. This information should be shown on the label of your chemical container. The hot tub test kit we use tests all necessary levels. Make sure you have the following chemicals on hand, a pH increaser, a pH decreaser, alkalinity increaser, and a sodium dichlorobromine granules. Keep in mind it matters in which order we balance our chemicals. First, we need to adjust our pH level and total alkalinity. Our goal is to find our pH between 7.4 and 7.6, and our alkalinity between 100 to 120 parts per million. The first thing we should do is balance our pH levels. After that, then we can add the sanitizer. If the pH is not balanced, it can render the sanitizer ineffective. Remember when adding chemicals, always spread them across the surface of the water with all the hot tub jets turned on. After that, you will have to wait 30 to 60 minutes before retesting. We'll need to repeat this process until our alkalinity and pH levels are within the recommended levels. And keep in mind that extremely high or low test results can take a while to get properly adjusted. Continuously adjusting the water in your hot tub until it reaches the desired levels. And next, we'll need to sanitize the water and the components of your hot tub. There are three primary types of sanitizers, chlorine, bromine, and salt. Sodium dichlorobromine granules are what we at VIP pools and spas specifically recommend for sanitation. They offer the best results on most hot tubs. If you are unable to use chlorine, you may want to consider using bromine instead. Bromine doesn't dissolve as quickly, and therefore you must wait a little longer for proper testing of the water levels. Also, bromine can build up over time. If you have to use bromine, just be careful not to overtreat. Adding tablets to a floater or a dispensing device may sound easy, but you must continue to test the water and remove the tablets once the hot tub has reached the proper sanitation levels. We normally don't recommend a floater or a dispenser because it over sanitizes your hot tub water. Even if you adjust the floater, the sanitizer levels cannot be controlled. Now, for our initial startup of our hot tub, we want our sanitation levels to be higher than what is best for daily use. To ensure for proper startup sanitation of the water and components, you should aim for a level around 5 parts per million. Wait an additional 30 to 60 minutes before rechecking the levels, and do not allow anyone to get in a hot tub until the sanitation levels have dropped between 1 and 3 parts per million, which is the recommended range. Once enough time has passed to allow the sanitation to fall to the recommended levels, then your hot tub water is balanced and ready to enjoy. So that's how to get started. We hope this helps. 